you sometimes wonder what you should be doing around the green and how to even know? And I think what, what is the most important thing to keep in mind when choosing what to do around the green and what clubs to choose is where the flag is in relation to the front edge of the green. So if it's close to the front edge of the green, you're going to use something with some loft that's going to land and stop. Uh, if it's further back, then you're going to use something that's going to land and run. What you don't want to do is to try and toss the ball all the way up and land it next to the pin and stop it. Like for example, this far flag we've got here. You wouldn't really try and choose a club like a sand wedge or a lob wedge, take a full swing, pop it right up and land it next to the pin. There's just so much more that can go wrong with that. So it's not the percentage shot to do that. So what you want to ideally do is always get the ball onto the green quickly and get it running. It's just the safer, higher percentage way to do it. And you'll end up scoring a whole lot better if you do it that way. As soon as you try and play the fancy, high, impressive shot where you toss it up in the air and land it dead next to the pin, then you're going to get into a lot of trouble. Your percentages drop right down. Now it's okay if you have to do that. Let's say you have, you're a bit further away, the pin's right at the front, you've got to toss it up and stop it because you can't really run it in, maybe the grass is a little bit too thick, then sure, you might have to do that. And you want to have that shot in your bag. You want to be able to toss it up and stop it, but only use it when you absolutely have to. Now I've got a really great situation here um, that you wouldn't get in many places. This is a practice area here. And so if you've got something like this, then try this little drill or this little experiment that I'm about to do. So what I've got is the, the flags are sort of fairly well spaced down the green and it's quite a big green. So hopefully you've got something like this that you can try this out at. If not, you might be able to put some markers onto a green. It doesn't have to be as big as this. You could make a smaller version of this where you've got say four different uh, length shots. So I'm gonna leave the ball in the same place and I'm gonna choose four different clubs. So I'm going to go 9 iron, 8, 7, 6. The 9 iron doesn't run as much as the 6, which I'm sure you already realise that. So I'm going to leave the ball in the same place. I'm going to play a little chip and run to all of them. And I'm going to show you that the different clubs will run different amounts, pretty much landing the ball in the same place. I could roughly land the ball in the same place with each club and the different amounts of run that the different clubs give me would take me closer into each pin. So let's see how we go. Starting with our nine. Generally speaking, you can land the ball about a quarter of the way and have it land, uh, sorry, and have it run about three quarters. So that's my nine. It's not bad distance wise. Direction wise was a little bit Slightly iffy, direction-wise. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to try and land it roughly the same place with an eight, and it should run out a little bit further. Same shot. You can see I'm just playing a very basic little chip and run shot. Not doing anything fancy at all. Now this is, a, there is a big difference between these ones. So I may have to be landing a little bit further each time. But you can see that the ball is gonna run more. You might find it a little bit far away to see these ones now. That was my seven. That one didn't run far enough. Now this is my six. This will run the furthest of all the shots. Ideally you want to work out the landing area, so pick a spot you think you want to land it. Again, about a quarter of the way is usually pretty good. Now this is quite a long shot here, I've got my six. You can see it's coming out quite low. I'm at, I must admit I'm not used to chipping with a six. I tend to grab one club and do it, use it as my chip and run club, which is in my case is an eight. So that's another method you could do. We could bring those back and we could just use the eight for all of them. And we could just vary up the length of the swing. So there's two methods that you could use for this varying distances here. Change up your clubs because they'll run different distances or just use one and vary up the length of the swing. So it's up to you. You can experiment with that a little bit. Do something like you've got here where you've got some different pins. See what works for you. And you want to do something that makes you feel com confident and comfortable. So practice it a little bit away from the course. That's the key to getting the ball close to the hole. 
So technique very quickly for your chipping is weight favoring your front foot, ball around about middle and gripping down. That's your setup position, those three things, weight on the front, uh, ball position around about middle, gripping down. Then we want to really firm back and through. When I say firm, what I mean is not too much of the hands and the wrists action, keeping the shoulders doing the work. Feel as if the shoulders here are taking the club back and through. We don't want much breaking of this left wrist. So if you let the shoulders do the work, let it move up here. Sometimes when we get it, we think, oh, it's only a short shot. I don't need to use my body much. Everything gets very still and then the arms sort of have to do the work and that's when you'll get into trouble. So let this move. You can turn back, turn through. So that's your basic chipping technique. Lean left, ball in the middle, grip down, let the shoulders do the work and keep this nice and firm up this left or leading side. Do you sometimes wonder what clubs you should hit when you're around the green and, it, and, and you know, Do you sometimes wonder what to do around the green, what clubs to choose? Um... My shots weren't real good. They were terrible.